Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Now this is an interesting earphone review that I have for you today. I'm going to be reviewing the Apple EarPods. No, not the AirPods, but the EarPods. And I get that some of you may have your reservations about the Apple EarPods, but these have been one of my first decent pair of EarPods that I've ever used, besides of course for the previous versions of the Apple earphones. The ones that came with my iPod Nano 2nd Gen, and the longer versions of those that came with my iPod Touch 3rd Gen. Which I still have an old pair with me just right here. So the Apple EarPods have pretty much been my go-to pair for many years. Even now I still enjoy using them. I have them near my bedside so when I'm browsing YouTube at night I usually just wear these since I find them to be very convenient and just overall exactly what I need them for at the moment. Now there are obviously better sounding earphones for the price, that is if you were to buy them separately. So instead of looking at these from that point of view, I'm going to be looking at these earphones from the point of view of a free pair that come along with your device. So first off let's start with the design and build quality. So if you take a look at the earphones you'll notice that they have this pod like design, hence the name earpods, which almost gives these a hybrid type of in-ear experience. So if you look closely you'll see that where the sound chambers are, or the pod openings, they're directed toward the ear canals for that closer in-ear experience. Now this concept I have seen before where you had that almost in-ear type design of earphone, I believe it was the Sony MDR-W14s which were the first pair of headphones that I've ever owned. So the Apple EarPods have an all plastic exterior shell with one vent at the back and two vents at the bottom on the sides. There are also an R and L printed on the shell to indicate the right and left earphone so that you don't confuse the two. But eventually after using these for so many years, when you pick them up you automatically know which earphone belongs in the correct ear, without even looking. The right ear pod protrudes to the right and the left ear pod protrudes to the left, which is very helpful when you're in the dark. But now that I think of it, it's practically the same on most IEMs, where you have the right earphone protruding to the right and then the left earphone protruding to the left. So at the bottom of the shells you'll notice that the wires are tightly sealed and reinforced by some extra silicone that go into the earphones. And what this does is it adds extra durability to the earphones and prevents the wires from turning inside the shell which potentially could undo or weaken the soldering points causing your earphones to stop functioning properly. Which by the way is a huge problem with some of the earphones that use the MX500 shells. Now just a quick mention here. If you happen to own a pair of earphones that use the MX500 shells, I'd recommend reinforcing both ends with Shugu to prevent an in-shell wire twisting. I'll drop a link of where you can purchase some of the Shugu in the description below. So the wire is coated with a soft-like silicone material. I found that they don't tangle as much as my other earphones, or maybe it's that they are easier to untangle. And on the Apple earphones on the right wire there's the inline remote with a volume rocker. And then there's the groove in the middle which is a play pause and call hang up button. In addition to that if you long press the middle button and activate Siri on the iPhone that is. I honestly have no idea if this inline remote is compatible with Android. So the remote buttons are nice and tactile and on the other side there's the microphone which sounds very decent. I prefer using this microphone over any other inline microphone that I have. I've also never had any issues with the person on the other end complaining about the sound coming from me. Here's a microphone test in case you were wondering what that sounded like. Hey what's up guys, I'm using the microphone on my Apple EarPods and I'm recording it with my iPhone 6 using the Voice Memo app. Alright, so like I said, the microphone is pretty good and when compared to some of the microphones that I've tested on some expensive Bluetooth earphones like say for example the Beats X Bluetooth earphones, the microphone on these earpods crush that. So I speak to my brother often and he uses the Beats X earphones and during our conversations I'm always asking him to switch over to the earpods. Now back to the remote. So if you look at both ends of the remote you'll notice that these joined areas are reinforced with some extra rubber tubing that goes into the enclosure for extra durability. And then all the way at the bottom of the wire there's some more reinforced rubber that goes into the plastic. And then lastly you've got the 3.5 millimeter TRRS straight plug. So overall the wire is not exactly very sturdy. They will definitely give out if you treat them like garbage but they are durable enough that if you actually take care of them, and by that I mean winding them up each time before putting them away to reduce tension pull, then they might just last you quite a bit. I've had mine for two years now, going on three years. There's a little bit of burnout within the sound, but overall they look like they're in good shape. Now to add to that, these are by no means whatsoever sport earphones, 
so sweating excessively with these on will reduce their lifespan or worse, completely damage the earphones. Now in terms of fit and comfort, these are earbuds, so they go in the ears and rest right off the edge, unlike say a pair of IEMs that go in your ear canals and plug up your ears. So fit may not be the best with these, but comfort wise, these don't put any pressure in my ears, so essentially I can wear these for hours on end without discomfort. Not to mention for the most part I feel more relaxed using earbuds than opposed to IEMs. Since I do get to hear what's happening around me and I'm not completely sealed out than if I was using in-ear earphones that plug up my ears. Now in terms of the sound that comes out of these, it's pretty good. The lows and mids are well balanced, with the highs being slightly more pronounced. For the most part that is. So the sound is clear and sound stage is very decent. Now when it comes to the bass, it's not a booming bass, but it's not underpronounced either. I guess I would say that it sounds normal. Also, you do need to realize that since these are earbuds, not all the sounds that these produce go directly into the ear canal. There's a lot of sound that leaks out. So if I were to push these in deeper into my ears, the volume obviously gets louder, as well as the bass, it gets about twice as loud, but also sound gets muddy if you do this. So I guess to sum up the sound, I would say that it's average in a good way, but not good enough that I would spend 30 to 40 bucks on a pair, if that makes any sense. In other words, I'm happy that Apple ships out these earbuds with their iPhones and doesn't make you buy these separately. Now, I don't know how the Lightning EarPods compare to these, but from what I've heard, they're pretty much the same besides, of course, for the Lightning plug. So to conclude, I'm a fan of these earphones. I usually use them while in bed or if I'm talking on the phone. I find them to be reliable and durable enough for my needs. The sound is average. These aren't necessarily my go-to pair of earphones for music, though they do perform well enough for that. I would say that these are my go-to pair of earphones for general browsing the internet on my iPhone and also my go-to pair for phone calls. Otherwise, for my PC, I use the Fail 64 Ohm earphones, which I've done a quick review on in a separate video. I'll post the card above if you wanted to see that. Well guys, that'll have to do it for now. If you did enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you wanted to see more content like this in the future, you could subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.